So, you're the one who sent her to find me? I am. I got your note. I tried talking to your friend here, but... I know. She doesn't speak English very well. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I need to take a bath. My rig is on. And he here out there looks like a gris. What did she say? Oh, she's just lamenting everything that we've lost recently. Is that your family laid to rest? Your husband? And your children? My parents. And my brother. Inger's husband. It's a shame. I offer my condolences. So you want to hire me to protect your homestead or what? No. That's burned. Your gun is no longer needed for protection. What I need now is revenge. Cold and bloody. Cold and bloody. What'll it be, ma'am? Sir, I'm looking to hire a gunfighter, a man by the name of Hawes. I'm told he knows the territory. Now, ma'am, I'm not one to tell folks their business, but if you need a man that's good with a gun, he ain't it. That drunk will blow off his own toes before he hits whomever it is you're hunting. Should let your husband here attend to the matter. Thank you for that baseless assumption on my marital status, but that man is not my husband. He is only in my employ. How's that? You were about to tell me where I could find Mr. Hawes? Oh, yeah. He's the one passed out drunk. <laughs> Your man here can have a whiskey on the house if he tosses that trash out of here. Start filling up the glass. Free whiskey, it always gets me. Let's go. We gotta get you out, boy. Come on. The rest of the horse shit, stand up. Stand up! Are you okay, sir? Here, I'll help you up. That was you? What are you? Lucky? This is for her damages. And this is for some bread and some milk. He doesn't want you in here. I said bread. And I said milk.
Mr. Hawes, if I could just have a word with you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Halls, you may wonder why I wish to speak with you? No. But I guess you're going to tell me. I wish to hire a good tracker and a gun to be at my side. Now why don't you let your husband handle it? He's a tough guy, ain't he? Threw me out of a bar. He is not my husband. Now, can you help me or not? Never trained to be a tracker. Nor a gunfighter. Frontier living seems to have given you all the skills you require. Well, up until last year, spent all my time building this house. Get my fields ready for planting. Poured all the hours in between, studying how to raise crops. <sighs> That's all I know how to do. I know of the tragedy that struck you this year's past. The same thing happened to me. That's why I came to you. You, of all people, know of my plight. We're both victims of the same fate. My home is in ashes, and my family members lie in their graves. I heard you hunted them, the assailants. I tried. I need you to help me hunt them. Well, since you know so much about it, you also know that I never found him. The sheriff told me they were a type of nomads. Then, with your experience and what you've learned about them, I'm certain we can succeed. Look, I, uh, I appreciate you wanting to give me a, a chance, but- I'm not giving you anything, sir. You'll be paid for the work you do. Plain and simple. You get paid, and we both get what we really want. What I want. What I want ain't possible no more. Revenge is possible. Look, I wish I could help you. But the truth is, Tough guy there is right about me. If I was really worth a damn, I'd have been able to protect my family. But I couldn't.
You don't look like you're from these parts. I spent most of my time back east. My parents sent me there for schooling. Huh. So, you're one of them educated women? Yes. Now's the time to use those smarts to understand that you're more likely to find your death up on that mountain. Before you come across those bastards, you seem like a, a fine young lady. Got your whole life ahead of you. Don't go trading that for suffering. I can handle suffering. What I cannot allow is for those brutes to go unpunished for what they've done. Those are my last two friends on earth. I ain't got no money for more. So if you want to come back when they're empty, I could Maybe show you some more fancy shooting. Possibly. I don't have time to waste on possibilities, sir. Or trunks. Hey. <clears throat> Do yourself a favor and forget about revenge. Okay? Killing those raiders, they might gratify you in the moment. But it ain't gonna bring your happiness back. Or your family. For once, you're making sense. However, this is not about my happiness. This is about standing up against evil and injustice allowing those villains to get away with what they've done and what they'll continue to do to innocent people is wrong. And those who do not oppose evil are in league with it. Oh, farewell, fancy lady.
whiskey. Good afternoon, little fella. Your mama around? His mama's right here. Along with my friend Winchester. Jebediah, come over here now. I, I mean you and your little boy. No harm, man. I, uh... I need to give you some. My husband will be back directly. So you can wait for him to shoot you. You can keep walking and I will. Ma'am. You misunderstand me. I recognize you. You're the one named Hawes. I am. Heard nothing but death follows you around. It finds us all soon enough. Sadly. This is from your husband. What? Well, he asked me to deliver it to you. Why you? Is he dead? Maybe we should speak somewhere in private. I was wondering what was taking him so long. I expected him days ago. I just didn't want to assume the worst. Did you kill him? It wasn't me. You killed him, and now you're trying to cover your tracks. Listen, please. I can explain it to you. You find what you're looking for just through there. Just through those trees. The boy should stay with me. Are you crazy? Do you think I'm gonna trust you with my child? Ma'am. You don't want him remembering his father this way. You get away from him. Don't you touch my son. Yes, ma'am.
Your husband lies as I found him. Liar! Filthy, rotten liar! You killed him! You took his money, and now you think turning the money over's gonna save you from the hangman's noose? Well, before you see me shot or hung, take a look in your husband's left hand. To find a note. directions to our home. In your husband's handwriting? Yes, it is. Read the rest of it out loud. Loud enough so his son can hear. My dearest love, I regret that I will not be able to keep my promises. I was shot by the sheriff over a misunderstanding. I'm bleeding out and don't have the strength to make it home. Please don't hate me, beloved. All I can hope for now in my final hour is that God will have a decent soul to find me and deliver my money to you. I wish it was more. Tell Jeb he's the man of the house. Well, uh... Look, I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. I can bury him for you. Give me my money. I already gave it. You didn't give me anything, sir. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm in no mood. I already proved to you that I didn't kill your husband. What more do you want from me? I want my money. I'll put it in your son's pocket. I wasn't touching it. I was just worried that in your grief you wouldn't accept the money. I know you miss your comforts, but have faith. God shall guide us. Heaven's justice shall be yours, my sweet sister. Retribution for your husband and my family. God help us not when our lives are destroyed. From the now, can I have support from me? Mr. Haas! Yeah, I knew you wouldn't get too far. Where's my damn whiskey? Two bottles that you stole from me? We have no cause to take your whiskey. 
and I ain't got no need or cause to be tripping through these damn woods chasing to get back what's rightfully mine. You are either hard of hearing or shockingly stupid. If you're just here to accuse me, then why don't you just go off and kill yourself? What? I think you found him.
Where's my gun? Is that all you can say? I've been holding you for hours. Your gun is reloaded, as is mine. Oh, I was in a... I was in a deep sleep. How are you feeling? I'm painting me your old friends. How are you? My body is relatively uninjured. However, I'm very scared. So scared that I don't think I can move. It's understandable. We just stare death in the eye. Please, no talk of death. Only happy topics of conversation, if you please. Like what? Anything. Anything to take my mind away from those filthy savages. Well, <clears throat> not much of a story to tell. Didn't you say you wish to succeed at farming? I did. Why? Well, see, a farmer not only feeds himself and his family, but he can also feed a growing town. And as they prosper, so does he. And that's why it appeals to you? It used to. Not anymore. No, 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 Mr. Hawes. Nothing morose. Only positivity. Uh, um. My father planted an apple tree on the day I was born. As I grew up, so did the tree. And by the time I was five, uh, the tree started to bear fruit. And uh, my father used to lift me up so I could reach the best apples. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, those were some of our happiest times. And the house is a single tree. <laughs> so uh, I got to thinking, what if I had an entire farm with orchards and fields so I could grow more? The gift of yet more happiness. Yeah. Though it may not seem like it at present, if you follow in the Lord's path, you'll find happiness again. We can already see it. Perhaps a little laugh at first. You might even feel guilty for laughing. But as you realize that life goes on, even if the days get dark, You'll find grace once more. Well, I, I admire your spirit. As I admire your skill with a pistol. You know, you say you're useless, but your display in battle proves otherwise. No. Well, there's plenty who could shoot. A real gunfighter, though, he's different. How? Well, the best gunmen, not only quick on the draw, you see, they, they have an edge. What's that? They have to not care as to whether they live or die. Well, I thank God that you're alive. You know, you're not too bad with a pistol yourself. Daddy teach you? He did. Cultivated woman who could shoot. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? You may. You said that gunman of yours wasn't your husband. Where 
She's your husband, if I may ask. Was he one of the ones who was killed? I've never married. Didn't you say that you went to school? Yes. And while most parents send their daughters to the university to find a husband, I focused on my studies. And then, of course, I found out that gentlemen prefer subservience over education. Subservience? Yes, it's just this word that means... I know what the word means, yes. It means that you got too strong a will. And those fancy rich boys who get to go to school instead of working, well, they ain't always strong. They call themselves gentlemen, but it takes a strong man to be gentle. And strong men, they ain't afraid by strong women. You see very clearly. Well, <clears throat> it'll be a fine catch for a lucky fella someday. Thank you. But luck has already come and left us fresh tracks to follow. So, what do we do now, cowboy? We should bury your companions. Mr. Tyson, yes. Poor man. And the other girl? She's my sister-in-law. She rode off, though. She's probably back to town by now. She's most likely dead. Same as you'll be, unless you leave this place with me right now. You know I can't do that. And you need to stop blaming yourself for what happened. My family is dead. Because of me. Those sons of bitches attacked after I left town that day. You know why? For these. Some goddamn seeds. Yeah. Walking around with my head filled with foolish dreams about farming my own land. So yeah, I am to blame. The only ones to blame are those monsters. I should have been there. I should have protected my family. I should have, I should have appreciated what I had instead of wasting my goddamn time with what I wanted. Believe me, I wish that I could lose myself in sorrow, but I can't because now is not the time. When all of this is done, when those savages are buried in the ground, then, and only then, will I weep. Burying my head in a pillow and mourning for my brother and my parents. So if I can withstand the sorrow, so can you. Anyone who lives long enough will suffer the loss of their parents. That's the natural order. A father shouldn't outlive his child. I'm not trying to compare our levels of loss. I know that you're in deep pain, but you can't give in. At some point, you have to move on. Let God shine his light back into your life with a righteous cause. Those devils took everything from me. When I came home to what was left of my life, all I found was a pile of rags and bones to account for my daughter. And the second pile that used to be my wife. The wedding ring I gave her, it, uh, 
it damn near melted to what was left of her finger. <clears throat> Nothing but burned bones and torn rags. That's all that was left of the place where my heart used to be. So you tell me, where was God's light when my family was being murdered? God never promised any of us a life without suffering. But if you walk in his light, on his path, you will live a life without regret. <laughs> I don't deserve to live life without regret. Why? Because you committed the great sin of leaving your home for a few hours? Excuses won't change a damn thing! I failed. I failed to protect my family. Don't you understand? Nothing can absolve me of that. That's the difference between us, then. We've both suffered the burden of loss, but only one of us has the strength to see God's will be done and this evil cast back into hell. You see this crazy game of yours through to the end? Then I reckon hell will be where you and I meet again. I have dedicated my life in service to the Almighty. My soul is in his hands. Go find your whiskey. Wash down that cold lump of cowardice.
Perfect place to die. Did you come here to die? How'd you creep up on me like that? Where'd you come from? From above. I don't know what brought you all the way out of here, but... There's a dangerous fuck all over this mountain. Crazy savages. I understand it ain't, it ain't safe for you to be here. Wow. You're, uh... Real peach. Is peach? It's farmer talk. You a farmer? Yeah, I used to be. Well, that's not true. What I meant to say is that I, I want to be. How did... How did these get here? A miracle? Yeah. More likely they are taken by a woman. <clears throat> woman who wanted chasing. Get me roped into her troubles. Well, now that you have your miracle... There's nothing left for you in this mountain. You can take your prize and go. And leave you here? <clears throat> Look, maybe I haven't made myself um, understood. This place ain't safe for you. There are savages who are uh, hungry for blood. Do you get it? I'm talking monsters. Are you alone? I am not alone. Well, I didn't mean spiritually, sweetheart. I meant like, <clears throat> are you alone without men, guns? This is all I need. I wouldn't go putting all your faith in those trinkets. You know, many true believers died thinking that their Lord and Savior would be there at their faithful hour. See, the truth is, ain't nobody up there looking out for you. Not God. Not Jesus. 
Jesus. I know from experience. You die? Of course not me, woman. <laughs> if you must know, my family was killed under the watchful eye of God. You know what he did? Nothing. Why? Because God. God allows the innocent to die. While the murderous and the, the, the wicked carry on thriving. Well, what would you have him do? Oh, God? Well, you know, I, I can't speak for him, can I? But, you know, m maybe instead of uh, wasting miracles on finding goddamn whiskey bottles, you know, he could send an avenging angel that could come down and stop these murders before they kill more innocent souls. That miracle is already here. The avenging angel just needs to decide whether to go home and drink himself to death or go and fight against evil. What's it gonna be?
You did it, fancy lady. As did you. Not only did we stand up against evil, but we also freed some of their prisoners. God's work indeed. Mary? Papa? your bones, baby. I, I would have come get you sooner, I promise, but I, I thought that. I got you now. Baby, I got you. And I'll never let you go. The light you have shown me has changed me forever. I never lived until on the very ground where they planted their first seeds. Although they had many more adventures, they did live happily ever after. Thank you for taking the tour and uh, enjoy your day at Haas Ranch. We're riding through the sagebrush, pushing cattle all day long. Sitting by the campfire, picking out a country song. Breeze blowing, no worries, I'm doing fine. But the blonde hair girl at home is still on my mind. I seem to be getting through the night. Yeah, the stars are shining. I seem to be getting through the night. But it Life that's meant for 
Stars are shining